at Home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about Viomi, and in particular, we're gonna talk about their Vortex 8 water filtration system. Yes, people, I got my hands on this super advanced filtration system. This is a nine stage filtration system. This thing is next level. It has a LED ring indicator on the faucet itself. So when you turn it on and the filters are solid, it is solid blue, which looks really, really cool. And then as the filters start to go down, it's gonna turn orange and tell you that you need to change the filter. Also, this has 14.5 PSI, which means you're gonna be able to fill stuff up really, really fast. Not to mention the fact that this is going to produce a better filtered water, which is not gonna result in so much waste. Not to mention the fact that this thing has a super easy to replace filter with a giant handle on the front. You just turn it, pull it out, slide in the new one and you're good to go. And this thing is super, super compact. So you're gonna save at least six inches underneath your sinks, you're gonna have more room to put this in and not have to worry about it not fitting. This also has mineral enhancements. So you're gonna get some of the best tasting filtered water on the market. And if you don't know anything about reverse osmosis, reverse osmosis is actually quite amazing for house plants. Yes, if you have house plants, you're gonna wanna use reverse osmosis for them. You're gonna get the best life out of them. Not to mention the fact that if you throw the reverse osmosis water into humidifiers, yes, humidifiers, you're gonna get the best life out of that humidifier. It's not gonna get gunked up with hard water. And if you live in a place like I do where there's hard water, it is absolutely terrible. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said reverse osmosis system. Then we're gonna go through the process of installing it. Yes, we'll go step-by-step -step to show you exactly how to install this super easily. Then we're gonna be putting this to the at-home Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so don't have to waste your time buying or returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, this is the Viome. There's a sketch. This is the Vortex 8. Right, this is everything that comes in the box. You have the unit right here. This thing has a select and a reset, a reverse osmosis, and a PCB right here. The front, of course, comes off, revealing your PCB and your RO. I like the fact that they give you an extra filter. That is awesome. I like the fact that you can access it straight from the front. Super easy. Giant twist offs right here. So you're not going to have to stress to get that out of there. Up at the top here, you have your input, your filtered, and your wastewater. Real simple. I like the fact that it's at the top. That's going to make it super easy to access. And then on the back, you have your power cable and then it looks like you have another cable for the light going to your faucet and then the faucet itself is interesting it's kind of uh, boxy I've never seen one that's actually boxy it also has a light down there I believe yep that's gonna be a ring light which is gonna be really cool when you turn this on it's gonna light up that's awesome and it comes with these cool dampening pads so we can put these on the bottom if we need to I don't think I will but I might and then of course we have all of our plumbing right here Okay, so the first step is to get your wastewater. I already have my wastewater right here. What you need to do is if you don't have a wastewater, you're gonna to have to use the provided uh, tool that comes with it. You're gonna drill a hole into your pipe about halfway up your main pipe right here, and then you put your wastewater on. Okay, so it turns out you need this special wastewater on here. So I had my red one, which was not working. So this is a special wastewater designed for this unit. And if you don't use this gray one, you're gonna be in trouble. So then we're gonna go ahead and plug in our filtered water right here. You just basically push it down until it hits the bottom. And then we're gonna throw in our input water right here, the big one. And they all just, they all push in until they hit the bottom and they lock into place. Okay, because this plugs in, we're gonna do this next. So you need to make sure you have a hole in your sink like that, or you can remove a dispenser like I have there. Sometimes there's a sprayer in a little hole right here, and you can remove that and then get an all-in-one faucet sprayer. Um, that's the best way to go about this, is get something that looks like that. Then you can utilize the hole that's already there, or if you have a stainless steel, uh, metal you can just drill through that super easily just google what size that is I think it's a 
three fourths um, hole, I believe, or something like that. Um, and then you go ahead and put that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the piping onto the bottom here, and then I'm gonna shoot this wire straight through that hole. Okay, so next up, you're gonna wanna run this for about 20 minutes, believe it or not, to clean out all the filters and make sure everything is nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that for 20 minutes. Let's talk about this faucet real quick. So I like the fact that you can move it around really easily. Some of these you like have to really tug at it to get it to slide around. But this one seems to work really, really well. I like the look of it. It's really solid. Um, the light on the bottom down here comes on whenever you turn it on and it goes right back off really fast. So they did a really good job on that light right there. Everything about it just works. It's a little bit on the short side. So definitely take note of that. If you're someone who's used to having a faucet that's a little bit taller, uh, this one is going to be one where you have to fill a lot of stuff up in the sink. So deep down in the sink, um, I, I sometimes will turn it and fill up stuff over here. But a lot of the things I do that with are taller than this thing is. So definitely take note of that. But yeah, this thing is really cool. I definitely like it. All right, let's fill up a glass and test it out. All right, and there we go. 46, that is not bad at all. So that is really purified water. And now we'll compare it to tap water. All right, there you go, 400 and 414, wow. So that is a huge improvement. Okay, and here is our uh, spring water. Okay, so that's 288 right there. One thing that's kind of cool about this being sort of like boxy is it can really reach over and fill up something. So I still can fill up stuff over here, which I really like to do. You just have to make sure you turn this off before it fills up, otherwise it'll fill your cabinets full of water. So um, I've learned that the hard way, but there we go. That is really cool. So I could put stuff a little bit taller than this. That's for my coffee. Okay, I have to say that this thing really does fill up very, very fast. I am super, super happy with how fast this thing is filling up all of my things. And because this is reverse osmosis, it's actually the best to use it in your humidifier. So if you have humidifiers, don't use tap water. It's going to be terrible. Use your reverse osmosis. You will thank me later. All right, let's go ahead and give it the sip test. So we're gonna fill up a glass of water and we're gonna taste this water to see how good it actually is. All right, let's go ahead and taste this water, give it the sip test, give it the review that we need to give it. It looks super clear. A lot of reverse osmosis water will come out with little bubbles in it, but this is not coming out with any bubbles at all. It just looks like amazing pure water. Wow. So the initial hit that you get is like this Swedish sort of like uh, refreshing water. It definitely has that taste of water that you really want. It doesn't taste like bottled water, uh, mainly purified bottled water. That stuff tastes too stripped of stuff. This tastes like it has the perfect amount of balance between pure and regular water. Wow. Yeah, that tastes absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give that a solid 4.8 star rating out of five stars. That is delicious. Mm. I literally feel more hydrated than before I start drinking this. That is amazing and it goes down so smooth. So you're gonna be able to drink more of this water than regular water because it cuts out all the garbage. Let's give this bad boy a star rating. So let's start off with a faucet right here. So I love the ring light down there. That's absolutely amazing. I love the fact that it turns on and off super fast. It doesn't waste any time. 
boom, it's on, boom, it's off. I do like the squared off nature of this. I like how easily I can move it around. I don't have to tug on it or anything like that. Um, it turns on instantly, which is awesome. And it has a little pause when it starts. So it actually helps not blast out of your cup. So it has the perfect flow. It has the perfect look. Everything about it is just really, really awesome. I really like this faucet a lot. Coming down here to this bad boy, I love the fact that I can just pull this off, turn these really quickly, take them out in a matter of seconds, which is absolutely amazing. I like the fact that you can come down here and you can select your PCB, or you can select your RO, which is really amazing, or you can hit the reset button. I love the look of it. This just looks really clean. It looks really awesome. And I like the fact that the pipes are right at the top there. So if you need to do any removing of this, you can remove it really, really fast. No problem whatsoever. So I'm going to give this unit a solid 4.65 star rating. I'm going to say this thing is highly recommended to everyone out there. It's built really solid. It has a great flow rate. It tastes absolutely amazing. And it just looks cool under the sink. That is really awesome. So solid star rating, highly recommended everyone out there. Bye it. All right, there you go. That's the Viome V8. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adelimicus family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.